Balramji Das Tandon, one of the founding pillars of the Bharatiya Jan Sangh, had his humble beginnings. From the tender age of 16, he had joined the Sangh with the sole purpose of bringing improvement in the political system. We are talking about the pre-independence era in the 1940s. Many youngsters like him had joined the party to participate in the revolution for independence. But Balramji would not have foreseen that he was going to start a legacy by being part of an organization which later became the Bharatiya Janata Party. From the very early days, Balramji had a clear idea in his head to bring about improvement. Improvement in what? Well, everything. From creation of jobs to creation of infrastructure. From providing transport facilities to providing basic civic amenities. And for many, basic provisions like food, water and shelter. This idea passed on from him to his son, Sanjay Tandon, and became part of his DNA. Sanjay as a child was mischievous but righteous. He had the innate ability to lead people. In fact, when he was 12 and his father was sent to jail during the emergency in 1975, he led a silent march in which more than a hundred children participated simply to spread the message in the neighborhood. Amare mata pita ko reha karo. Not only did he lead the children whose parents were imprisoned by the government, but the way in which the message was delivered was commended by many a soul. Sanjay had been closely watching his father contest the elections, taking out processions and leading jalouses against the government. He had himself picked up the skills of organizing such programs. And when Balramji was relieved from the prison, Sanjay, who was still a 14-year-old minor, worked day and night during the elections in 1977. Consequently, his father became MLA from Amritsar for the fifth time. Sanjay had been going to the Shakha from the age of 8 and understood the importance of leading a disciplined life. Alongside this, he kept his passion for finance and accounts alive. He graduated in BCom with honours and finished his chartered accountancy degree in the shortest possible time frame. Immediately after, Sanjay started practicing as a chartered accountant and did audits for various companies and clients. Thereafter, he got married to Priya, the daughter of Justice M. M. Punchi, who later became the Chief Justice of India. Around this time, Sanjay's residence in Sector 11 Chandigarh was attacked by terrorists from Punjab who were targeting his father while he was contesting the elections for the MPC from Amritsar. Even though the encounter lasted for half an hour, nobody was hurt or injured. The next 10 years of his life was spent to strengthen his profession. He started working as a professional all by himself and slowly added people to his team, which grew from just a professional organization to a private company, which entails various businesses in stock brokerage, commodity brokerage, call center, insurance, software, and more. 20 years later, his companies put together under the competent group umbrella have over 5,000 youngsters working with them. He was always active in the political world with his father, but his official entry took place in 1995 when Narendra Modi visited their residence and told Sanjay that if able and educated youngsters like you do not come forward to lead the country, then there is no hope for the country. This comment of Narendra Modi hit Sanjay very hard. And the journey continues.